The number one success factor in a polymer paving application is a clear understanding of the soil types and their behavior. Some soils and rocks are readily suitable for compaction and paving, some are not. Some unsuitable soils could be repaired through mechanical or chemical intervention. Other times, the cost of repairing in situ soils is too high and the cost of bringing suitable aggregates should be factored in, or if that cost is too high, the project should be abandoned. You need to have a clear understanding of what can be done with the soil you have available at each work site. This knowledge is your most valuable asset. The ability to look at different soils and know exactly what you can do with them makes the difference between a successful project and a failed one. The fastest way to get a good grasp on this subject is to engage in uh, studying the following documents and any other related publications that you can get your hands on. First, review the USCS, which stands for the Unified Soil Classification System, and also read the ASTM D2487. These guides designate soil types based on their engineering characteristics. The AASHTO designations classify soils based on their usefulness in road construction applications. See ASTM D3282 and AASHTO M145 to familiarize yourself with this system. In the UK and Europe, other systems are used, but you will come to see that the same core knowledge is essential no matter which system you use. When you're done reading the above materials, you're going to have some um, preliminary concepts well rooted in your mind, which will help you with a better understanding and appreciation for the methods that we recommend.